gorillas more plentiful in Africa than thought, but population is still dropping. There's both good and bad news about our ape relatives in Western Africa, a massive, decade-long study of Western Equatorial Africa's apes found there are 33% more gorillas and 10% more chimpanzees than previously had been thought. The bad news, the vast majority of these great apes minus 80%, exist outside protected areas, and gorilla populations are declining by 2.7% annually. This decline is why gorillas continue to be listed as critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's list of threatened species. The study found more than 360,000 central lowland gorillas and nearly 130,000 central chimpanzees live in the region, both of which were higher than previously believed. It's great news that the forests of western equatorial Africa still contain hundreds of thousands of gorillas and chimpanzees, but we're also concerned that so many of these primates are outside of protected areas and vulnerable to poachers, disease, and habitat degradation and loss said study lead author Samantha Strindberg of the Wildlife Conservation Society. The main factors responsible for the decline of gorillas and chimpanzees are illegal hunting, disease and habitat degradation, the study found. All great apes are protected by national laws and international conventions, thus, it is illegal to kill, capture, or trade and live individuals or their body parts wherever they occur, the study said. Despite this legal protection, the combination of poaching with Ebola virus disease has been catastrophic for gorillas and chimpanzees. Another emerging threat is industrial-scale forest conversion for agricultural plantations, especially oil palm plantations. This deprives the apes of their natural habitat. Our study underscores the huge importance of intact forests to gorillas and chimpanzees, and of preventing illegal felling of good quality forests said study co-author Fiona Mazels, also of the Wildlife Conservation Society. Most of the great apes in this study lived in Gabon and the Republic of the Congo. Smaller populations also exist in Equatorial Guinea, the Central African Republic, Cameroon and Angola. As for what to do about the declining populations, study co-author Homer Cole of the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology said protecting our gorillas and chimpanzees will require a major increase in political will at all levels, national, regional and global. Another expert, study co-author Liz Williamson of the University of Stirling in Scotland, said that a combination of responsible industrial practices, conservation policies, and a network of well-managed parks and corridors would provide wildlife managers with a winning formula for conserving great apes in Central Africa. Our study has revealed it is not too late to secure a future for gorillas and chimpanzees. The study was published Wednesday in the journal Science Advances.